Okay, Joe. Yeah. When we go swimming, what you gonna do? Oh, I don't wanna talk about this. I don't wanna talk about this. I don't wanna talk about this. Yeah, we're gonna discuss bathing suits. Hey. I'm sorry, if you're over 50, there's an emotional component to this bathing suit thing. Would it be uh, fear? Yes. Terror? Terror. A little bit of shame. <laughs> but we've got to address this because life is not getting any shorter. That's true. And I am not gonna just sit and watch everybody else have fun in the water. We so, gotta get in the water. Exactly. We gotta figure this out. I'm not gonna put a bathing suit on. Yes, you are. You are going to put on a bathing suit. I've got some options. Okay. My problem is I don't have good legs. You do. I, no. And my arms aren't that great anymore either. So it's one of those things where you, you walk, you stop, but everything else is still moving like you're still walking. That's kind of what I've got going on with the arms and the legs. Everybody over 50, 60, 70 are unhappy with some of our body parts. Yes, yes. And so we may be a little embarrassed and not wanting to show what we don't need to show. Absolutely. And some people don't want to see what no. we got to show. No, they don't. And, and I think... I'm doing them a favor by wearing what I wear when I go swimming, short of a wetsuit, which is something I have considered, actually. Um, there are some places like Carve Designs. They have some more sporty options uh -huh. that look more like maybe yoga pants, the long ones and the short ones that come right below the knees. You can wear them with rash guards. They have long sleeves, sort of like a mock turtleneck that has a zipper, Isn't maybe sleeveless. Hot? No, it is really amazing. It's not uncomfortable. Is it to protect you also from getting sunburned? It does, yes. So that's also something when you're over 50, we need to be on the lookout for. So double yes. duty. Yes, but it also is lycra and it kind of holds you. Ooh, we love the lycra. We love us some good lycra. So that is a great option. And also buying those little mock turtleneck suits that have the zipper. Those are kind of nice also, and you can wear those either with a bathing suit top underneath or no. That's a great option, great option. Land's End has that. They also have some miracle suit type stuff. There are just a lot of options out there. We have other things too that we need to think about. Some of us have been through surgeries that oh, yeah. have left their marks yeah. and maybe you want those things covered. I am concerned because I've had a double mastectomy. All bathing suit tops are not going to look good on me. I have to be kind of careful. Mm -hmm. You may want to use inserts to even things out. Um, if you've had lymph nodes removed, that leaves some janky looking arm areas around in here. You would just feel more comfortable with it being tough. Yes, absolutely. Now, if you don't care and you go out and do that, I respect it and more power to you. I don't have that kind of confidence, so I'm not gonna do it. I've also had a friend who had open heart surgery and mm -hmm. had a really long and pretty nasty looking scar. Yeah, yeah. And they wore sort of the turtleneck thing with no sleeves, so they could still show their arms, but it covered all of the scars. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of things you need to think about is what are you trying to not show? I think going to some of these more mature, sporty type brands, mm -hmm. I think that's the way to go. There's Carve, there's Soma. Soma has some. Oh, really? Yeah, Soma. The, the lingerie. Yeah, they have some. And actually what I've found, especially because what I've been most concerned with is anything that's mastectomy related. There are a lot of brands out there that are now allowing for that, which is fantastic. And it's kind of nice to have those options. There are swim shorts, there are swim skirts, there are so many different types of tops now. You can do the mix and match. Carve allows you to put four or five different things together that have versions of a pattern so that it looks a little more creative, I guess. Another thing to think about is really, you shouldn't be wearing that solid beige bathing suit or that black bathing suit in the hopes of, that. of blending in. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't work. I really think if you wear the bright patterns that have a lot going on, what it does is it kind of camouflages those bumps and bulges and mm. all those little things that don't need to be there. And it really helps. And of course, what color are all my bathing suits? 
Yep. And because what color is everything? All of my wardrobe is black. True story. It absolutely <laughs> is. For some reason, I think, oh, the black is going to hide things. Uh -uh. It does. It just makes me look like a big fat seal. <laughs> Well, that's the other thing. If you wear the Lycra pants or leggings and those Lycra shirts, it's really just gonna silhouette your vastness in my case. <laughs> I mean, you're just gonna get out and it's just a big girl in Lycra and that's okay. I don't, I'm getting used to that, but I do feel like I'm covered and things aren't wiggling yeah, if they shouldn't be. Wiggle. My number one reason why I don't wanna get into a bathing suit, particularly at the lake, is because at some point, when we're in the water, I got to climb that ladder to get up on the dock. <laughs> and you know what? I can't tell everybody, okay, turn your head so I can climb the ladder so you won't see my cover up that I've jumped into the water with, cling to my <laughs> rear end and my thighs. Yes, that is absolutely right. And the other thing is if you watch any woman over 50 try to climb out of anything, that's bad enough when they're fully clothed. <laughs> it's not going to happen in a bathing suit. It's not because it's slow, you're pulling up, and it's almost like you're just prolonging the agony of that. So, yeah, I totally, totally get that. But the, the thing is, we are doing this, this channel for one reason only, and that is to help our sisters Mm -hmm. who are like us, get out there and enjoy you got what is in the water. You can't stand behind the curtain looking at everybody else having fun. No, no. If we would see more 60-somethings out there, then we might feel a little more comfortable to get out there ourselves. But we're not going to model any nope. for you. You Ooh. can just forget it. No, no. We're doing that as a favor to or you. in the words of Joe Biden, <laughs> it's not going to happen. It is absolutely not going to happen. But at the same time, here we are struggling with these 30 and 40 somethings and 20 somethings who are out running around oh, yeah. on the beach and, you know, they just had their babies. Oh, yeah. And they still look awesome and they're all running around going, I'm going to have a little bit of ba uh, <laughs> belly fat from my um, pregnancy. And I mean, Please, I, yeah. yeah, or the ones that's like, um, I, I sympathy ate for my surrogate and now I've gained some weight. I mean, oh my gosh. So no, we, we just, we really just kind of want to be like our normal selves mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. And, and remember, you've all been to the beach and to the lake, mm -hmm. to the pool. Mm -hmm. Come on now, we've, we've seen some of these other bodies out there. It's not we just have, us. We have. Some people apparently don't have any problem <laughs> flaunting what they got. And, and you know what? I'm trying not to flaunt. I'm yeah. trying to cover up as much as possible. <laughs> so I think we need to get out there, right? Yeah. You told me a story about your grandmother. Oh, yeah. I thought was awesome. Well, we were at the beach years ago and my grandmother had had a double mastectomy also and a big wave crashed down on us. And when she came up, she had lost a couple of things. <laughs> and so we look out and her inserts <laughs> are floating out to sea. And my father jumps in the water and goes racing to rescue the inserts, but <laughs> came back and I guess she popped them back in, I don't know. But that was kind of an inspirational story to me because you know, she wasn't sitting at the beach, not enjoying herself. She was in the water. Well, when you told me that story, I thought about a story of my grandmother back in the 60s. She was going through a very devastating loss of a child, and we decided to just go somewhere, my parents and my grandmother and I. And we went to a hotel. I go out to the pool. I'm five or six with my parents. And we're gonna swim together. And out walks my grandmother, wearing, in her 60s, a purple one-piece bathing suit. Ooh. And I thought, you know what? She put on some happy. And I know she was going through torture at that point. Yeah. She put on some happy and she came out and she played with me in the pool. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was so awesome yeah. that she was with me. So. Why are, what are we doing? Yeah, get in the pool with your grandchildren. Get in the pool, don't get miss, in the water. Don't miss the time to be with them because you don't want to be seen in a bathing suit. We're going to do it. We hope you do it. Just get in the water. Get in the water.